Okay, uh, right. Go. Mail notification received from access point. All right, let's see what it is. Jesus, didn't even get the start. Server manager service capacity. Right. <laughs> Wait, does this guy have anything new? Like, is there anything? That... No. <laughs> upgrade. Oh, I can upgrade these? Oh, okay, so get... Oh, okay, so getting parts can upgrade the items I have. I did not know that. Interesting. Oh, 2B. Your timing is impeccable. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, this again. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The Resistance is assisting with the mission, so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Seriously? Dead serious. There's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately, we need to stay on our toes. Of course, if you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. Uh, let's go do that, I guess. So I do have a, a side quest, I think. And there's the carrier thing. I can just go there my, on, my, on my own. Wait, hmm? Okay, those are people I can talk to. Confidential. I guess I should, I should probably go do that. Near factory. Alright. I know I said I wouldn't do another side quest, but <laughs> I already have it active. I may as well do it. Requested plug-in chip obtained. Requested plug-in chip obtained. Alert. The specifications of this plug-in chip are unusual. How so? This chip is a model used exclusively by Yorha units. There is no reason for a non-Yorha android to possess it. A Yorha only chip, huh? <laughs> I didn't get the heal. I didn't get the heal. I didn't get the heal. I better not fuck this up. If I fuck this up, I'm literally gonna die. Oh, oh goodness. There we go. Oh. Alert. Incoming message from command. All units, be on the lookout for a missing Yorha in the city ruins. This unit was in possession of several plug-in chips that contain classified information. I need you to seek out whatever intel you can regarding their current whereabouts and status. Understood. Hmm. Chips with classified data, huh? Oh man, you really saved my be my bacon. I'll take these chips from you now. Huh? Why not? You don't actually suspect me of, it, of something, do you? Come on, I need those chips. Hmm. Refuse. Before I give you the chips, I need to answer a question. Do you know anything about a missing Yorha unit in the area? No. Really? Look, I just forget about the chips. See ya. Oh, oh, pfft, fine. Fine, I'll give him the chips. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and I know this isn't much, but please take it. Gravity. I'm glad I could trust you guys. Next time we meet, I'll be sure to introduce you to my family. I definitely could have taken the transporter, but yeah. All right, so let's do this boss fight again with with the knowledge that I can heal in the air, which will probably make this boss fight a lot easier. Why must we read all these books, brother? Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. 
<sighs> I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um... Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right, but only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard. You do that. I don't know, watching them is kind of a little... Eh. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to fight every robot existence over here. Uh. I think that's the last of the machines. 2B, 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was sent to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all your troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. What? Who turned to my fishing? You see? Okay, good. Total slave driver. Whoops. If she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. Who's the big robot? Alright. Attention, this is Carrier Blue Ridge 2. Requesting support from any friendly units in range. We've come under heavy fire from the enemy. Our escort ship has taken damage and is unable to engage. We're currently resisting with all remaining support fighters, but we can't hold them off for long. This is Carrier Blue Ridge 2. We need immediate backup from any available Android forces. What? Why is this? Uh, I'm just melee them. I'm picking up a large scale enemy inbound. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. Oh, yeah, that thing, right. How'd you pick up that thing and then, but you couldn't pick up the absolute unit of a thing? Of a of a thing like down below you. There you go. Enemy aerial unit destroyed. Reverting back to area reconnaissance. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? Oh, you did pick it up. Okay, never mind. If it's that big, we should be able to see it. Operator 210 to 9S. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostile. We need you to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal. Destroy the generator quickly. Oh, shit. Alright, this combat style is a little weird. Go ahead. The only known record of this machine life form is a lone sighting 320 years ago. Upon reaching land, the unit unleashed a devastating electromagnetic wave attack. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative. Oh, Confirm 
sudden elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser strike. What does he want to do now? We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help A. <laughs> this thing's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. 2B. Let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. Hello? Can I hack it? There we go. Pascal's here now. We get to see what he was doing now, I guess. I didn't think I... He said it earlier what he was doing, I guess, but... You went a lot further away in your gameplay than you did with this. I didn't think this. this would be so hard to control. Alert. Obstacle ahead. A collision at this speed is not recommended. Well aware, thank you. at 
true be. My Ness. Don't die on me. What about all the other, like, 20 other Yorha units? You don't care about them? They got wrecked by that thing in one hit. The child held sway over enormous strength. But sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! 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 But his voice never reached his mother. I find myself in a bizarre memory storage area stretching as far as I can see. It's a maze, a labyrinth, a massive interconnected network. I've never seen anything like it. It must have been created by the machines. So then, what am I doing here? I am 9S. That's all I can remember. Large portions of my memory have, may have been destroyed. What if I forget everything? My memories? Myself? My... Okay, calm down. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> Just follow the emergency manual and execute the memory recovery program. The recovery program begins to fill in the blanks in my memory. They drift back in like the missing letters. Okay. The bunker, Doobie's plan, a colossal ma machine life form, the last res resort missile strike. Preservation mode was activated at the m at the moment of the blast. Oh, preservation mode was okay. It halted most of the safeties and uh, the network had in place. Wait, oh, I didn't get to read that. Hook me up to the machine network to, okay, to somehow. It took a while, but the recovery plan program managed to restore most of my memory functions. However, I still can't ex establish a link to my body. Well, I, f I guess there's nothing else to do but examine the surrounding memory space. It looks like the machines g gathered and stored a lot of info in here. It all seems pretty random at first, but in closer inspection, I'll learn how it all con it's all connected. There are a variety of entries, such as data on human history, philosophy, but what's really strange is the records of machines stored next to those. In the politics category are records of machines' own governmental endeavors. They tried all sorts of things. Absolute monarchies, republics, democracies. And that wasn't all. They also engaged in other so scholarly pursuits, such as philosophy, mathematics, science, and social criticism. It's like the network was copying every possible human behavior and discipline. Almost as if I dive deeper into the records. I could find no indication of the machines creating new cultures or values. They only had they only imit imitate human behavior. The strange thing is, if a unit fails, it fails in exactly the same way the next time. For example, if a machine forms a dictatorship that eventually collapses, it won't try a new type of government. It, d it just forms a new dictatorship. Or if it pl plants crops and they die, it just tries the same thing again. And again, and again, and again. They keep performing the same behaviors. They don't ever learn. When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming adaptive behavior and evolutionary speed. So why do they insist on imitating humanity? And more specifically, why do they imitate their failures? It's almost as if the objective is failure itself. I sense a change in the data, some kind of movement. I hold my perception and hold my breath. I... I hear something, a distant voice. I am now all android. There's something there, something clearly intelligent. I announce to all androids. The words shimmer into focus. The voice grows clear in my mind. It is Adam, a machine made in, in the image of a man. 
The machine at life forms are, have evolved, he says. We made war, learned, grew, and thus we gained new consciousness. Indeed, it is as if, it, it, it is as if a new form of, of existence was, has been born. Lies, nothing but lies from here, from mere machines. And yet the androids claim to be alive? How very odd. You are puppets. You lack every, even your own free will. No, you're wrong. His, his words flow through me as though they were pour, poured into my ear. How am I wrong, boy? I'm where... Perhaps you have a will after all. Perhaps you have desires. Now you see, boy, the true meaning of life is hatred. You're wrong. A vile hatred slumbers in the depths of your heart. You're wrong. The more you try to hide it, the more that darkness grows. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Okay. All who live are slaves to desire. Such in internal appetites are what give our, our lives meaning. Such, Some seek beauty, others seek serenity. For me, hatred is... I'm not like that. Uh -huh, or yes, you are. You do not trust anything. You want to destroy everything. You have lost hope in everything. You want to obtain everything. You want to be loved by all. You're thinking about how... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> Reality stained by lies. Stop it. Stop. Uh, stop. Hatred pouring into you. You're wrong, damn it. Overflowing desire. I, I'm not like you. Your true self. Each of the machines treated their treasures with great care. One treasured family above all else. Another treasured its older sibling. Another treasured its own beauty. But one more machine treasured something unique above all else. Hate. Is this... death? So dark, so cold. Minus. That was weird to see her running towards me like that. Too big. Come on. Let's go home. 